Diana, I got your back. Diana, is everything all right? Kane ended up showing up at the hospital. We already know that Diana's been going through it. But Kane shows up and he's like, listen, Diana, I'm here for you. Monet, what's going on? What happened? A dirty cop came while you over here running around, popping it for Noma, wilding out, doing Lord knows work over there. We got real live shit going on. And Kane said, I know, Ma, that's why I showed up, so I can help Diana out. Who did it? You said a dirty cop? Oh, we're going to get to the bottom of this. What's, who she with? Who she with? Oh, Kane, don't worry about it. You need to get out of here. Listen, Diana, you need to contact me when Monet starts fucking up. Now, that's some sad shit when the whole family knows that Monet, who we believe was really on top of the game, everyone's like, man, Monet is a fuck up. The two other kids tried to unalive her. Now Kane doesn't even respect her. Drew called her. You're fucking delusional. Kane showed up and told Diana in front of Monet, when she fucks up, contact me. I'm like, man, that's what's up, Kane. Because someone got to step up for this family. Someone has got to step up for this family because Monet obviously can't do it. She's too ruthless. She just cares about herself. Now, she's she making it seem like she cares about Diana. She don't care about Diana. She just wanted that baby to be fly. So even Kane looking at her side, we're like, man, what the hell is wrong with you? Now, say we're going to add in Noma, her story with Kane, because they do a little bit of talking. But in this situation here, This situation here, Noma texts Davis after he gets off the phone with Tariq. She's like, I need to see you right now. Now, you remember Wiley Adams got killed by Zion. The only reason I'm bringing this up is because that contract that they were supposed to get, she was going to basically, you know, mm -hmm, up under the table because she ain't got no citizenship and you need to be an American or at least have citizenship to get a government contract. So she calls Davis up because she can't figure it out. And the reason Kane is connected to this is because Zion unallowed Wiley, who was going to help out. But the Zion situation spanned from Kane fighting him. So that's why no one was always looking at Kane a little sideways. Like, you think you know what you're doing, but you're really messing shit up. So Davis got to come in here and clean things up. And we know Davis got Noma open like a 7-Eleven. You know what I mean? So... She calls him up, and when you, when you we hit it with that wham bam, sometimes they're gonna call and they're gonna be a little confused. They they say the term is victimized, but I don't know what that means because I don't do that. You feel me? You're not gonna be victimized by me. You're gonna take your ass home and go live your life. Don't worry about what I got going on. But David shows up and she's like, Listen, how can I get these contracts? He's like, I got an idea. You need to take your legitimate business and put it in, uh, you know, saying an American citizen's name. Give them the majority ownership, basically 51 percent so I can make all the calls. And then it'll seem like you're legitimized. She's talking about who? And Davis is really wanting to put it in his name. But she does point out that, Davis, you're about to lose your license. You're about to be up under the bar you see you gotta pass the bar they about to take you up under the bar they about to put you in limbo up under the bar he's like well you need someone you can control you think you can control me so all this talk really just davis leading to trying to get some poo nanny <laughs> one thing about davis he's gonna talk his way into some draws now i've been trying to master that Back in my younger days, if y'all would have seen me 10, 15 years ago, I had me a little baddie over here chilling with me doing the live. But, man, I ain't got that kind of game no more. I'm washed up. I just ain't got it. You feel me? But Davis, for some reason, that man, can, he, talked, he talked himself into more draws than a little bit. He had Carrie on the stand. Y'all remember Carrie Milgram who unalived herself? Carrie Milgram said it was just too much pressure and strung it on up and took her own life. Well, Davis had her on the stand talking her out the draws. I said, how the hell does this Negro do it? And then I just say, Davis, you got to calm down. You ain't going to have no clients. You're knocking them all down. His assistant that came in, he was about to talk her out the draws, but he needed her to go down and represent him. So he had to, you know what I'm saying, hold it back, dial it back. 
But now Noma's like, well, you know what? I need to do something to get these contracts. And then he get to touching on her leg. And I'm like, Davis, we need to be professional. But Noma looks at me like, Mo, shut up. I'm like, wait a minute. I'm on your side, Noma. We supposed to be trying to get these contracts. But it just looks like you got locked in the contract that we supposed to get through the government. You trying to be locked up with this nigga Davis. Davis, please fall back, my brother. Now, I ain't no hater. I ain't no cock blocker. But we got business to do over here, man. And we can't put the business in your name. But Davis don't really care about putting the business in his name. Because if he can get in between, you know what I'm he will be all right. That will hold him over. But he knows that no one's going to have to call him back. Because as long as Kane, the knucklehead, is around, Kane's going to always fumble. Kane thinks that he got shit together, but Kane is going to fumble. Now, I know we're talking about Kane's story right now, but he ain't in here, so we can't give Kane's perspective. We just got to talk about what's going on in Noma's mind right now. So Noma is thinking, maybe I can get with Davis, but just like he said, I can't control Davis. If Davis gets 51% majority ownership, he really can just vote me out of this. He'll have the board, and he'll be in charge of everything. So he can really say, Whatever the fuck he wants, and he can veto everything because that one percent over 50 changes everything. Kate ends up showing up to the crib. He sees Davis and he started to peek what's going on. If y'all haven't noticed, Kane has really noticed what's been happening. Kane sees Noma. And he's like, listen, I know what's going on between you two. And he's talking to Davis. Look at, look at that. Look at Davis's shirt, man. Look at this nigga's shirt and tie. It smell like Medusa in here. What the hell y'all been doing? And Noma's in a robe. Basacha, F O Sacha. So Kane shows up, and this is where he realizes what's really going on. Look at this nigga Davis's shirt and tie, man. Miss Parker, Miss Parker. So Kane looking around like, man, why it smell like ass in here? He's like, what are you doing with Davis? What you got going on with Davis? She's like, uh, last I checked, I ain't got a report in with my motherfucking employees. Kane's looking like, man. Why she ain't play with my frog? <laughs> so he's finally peeping out what's going on. And this is what's going to determine the rest of the episode where he's starting to get closer with Effie. But he's looking at Noma and he's like, man, what the fuck? So you working with Davis. But he knows that you can't trust Davis. If Davis and Tariq are actually partnered together. Remember, they took out Zion. And that's why Noma is upset with Kane because Kane is coming in here asking all these questions. Excuse me. But Kane hasn't done anything successfully for the organization. She's like, you're an employee. He's like, no, nah, I'm a business partner. She said, well, Tariq took out Zion. Well, I was going to get to it. No, before you got to it, Zion took out Wally. So we can understand why Noma is mad at Kane. But Kane, he's like, damn. It's like every time I take a step forward, this nigga Tariq knocked me back two or three steps. And now Davis is in here. So now I'm back four steps. How can I get out of this bullshit? So Noma starts calling Kane out. She's going in on Kane. Kane's sitting here looking like a fool. Hands in his pocket. No responses. Like, damn. So what does he do? When the going gets tough, Kane gets going to Effie. He shows up at Effie's crib. Now, this is when he's talking to her. And he's like, listen, man. There's a lot of bullshit going on in these streets. Davis, Noma. Oh, my God. Oh, I don't want to say his name because I know he's fucking Noma. God, please. Listen, if I need you to get on the computer that had a computer's putin. I need you to get on there. Do, 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 do. I need you to get into this computer. And we need to find out about this task force because Diana got beat up by a cop. And... We're believing that the Russians were doing some snitching because the money that you had is gone. You see the connection? Remember when Effie was in there 
Don Carter and them went in there and did the raid. Effie was trying to get the money and get up out of there, which I don't think Effie was going to turn the money in. But Nico took the money. So now Kane is trying to figure out who took the money, and they're thinking that it was a Russian that did the snitching. Effie was the one working directly with the Russians, and she know that all of them are solid, and they aren't going to tell. But Kane is like, man, fuck all that. We need to get into the police files to verify that the Russians didn't do anything. We need to see if there's any money in the police reports. We need to see if there's any informants, any snitches. And Effie's standing with, like, nah, man, there ain't nobody. But he's like, nah, listen, Effie, you got to do this. And plus, if we can figure this out, this right here will cover you with Noma, and you want to get out the game to go to Stanford. So Kane is using her vulnerabilities against her. Now, she does want to get out the game, and even Noma just told Kane that Effie is an effing opportunist. And I've been saying that from the beginning of time. Effie know one trick. Opportunity knocks, she answers. But he's like, nigga, fuck all that. We got to go get this goofy nigga Brayden. Hey, Miss T said Kane got smart. Kane, hey, Kane went from two plus two is five to two plus two is four and a half. He's almost there, y'all. He's almost there. Now they go over to Braden's spot, and y'all know how Braden is giving it up. Braden is on that mugger sugar because sometimes you need that after work. You know, after a stressful day, you got to go home and do your thing. Now, let me make this clear. I don't do this, and I don't encourage none of y'all to do that. We talk about the power of universe. You know what I'm saying? We ain't trying to get nobody in the jam. But Kane and Effie show up and they matching outfits. Catch Braden in the act of um, I get high. I get high. I got body, 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 body. And Kane comes over here with this plan. And the plan is for them to go break into a cop's house because they need to access a cop computer. And Effie will be the one to do it. Effie will be the one to get us in there. What up, Ice? Did I call the last episode? I might I might call it every now and then. You know what I'm saying? I ain't the brightest individual. You know what I mean? I know a little bit. I know I know a little bit here and there. I try to I try to piece it together, you know what I'm saying? But they're about to go break into this house. Now, this plan, this plan, I ain't gonna lie to you. The plan sounds good. And the reason the plan sounds good is because Kane doesn't have to go in the house. Kane got his feet up. <laughs> you see my lovely lady back there? This is this is that's my Effie back there. Well, you see, Braden. You know you the fucked up, man. You on that shit. We might need your assistance. You and Effie need to break into this house. You need to go into this house, confiscate this computer, get some information. Now, Braden, he's like, I don't know. I don't know about that. Just go in there, get the computer. Effie's going to do her one, two, and we're going to get up out of there. We didn't already did the research. Now, Braden's like, nah, fuck all that. If I do that, then Effie got to give up the business. Effie said, I'll give up the business. Not only will I give up the business, I'll give up the business to all the schools. All the schools. So Braden is like. Now, what did you say we have to do again? We just breaking into a house and getting a computer. Now, I didn't did a couple of robberies before. I think I can do I can I can handle that. I can I think I can handle that. You giving me all the business. All we gotta do is get a computer. Interesting. Interesting. Now Kane, we were just talking about Kane being smart, but Kane should have knew when he heard Effie give up all the business, she doesn't have the money. She doesn't have that number to actually go to Stanford. He should have said, wait a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. Nope. We're not doing this. Effie may have said she's going to give up those businesses. We're not doing it. I'll go get the computer myself. 
That should have been the first thing. But Kane, his nose is wide open. He loves Effie so much. He's sitting there thinking that Effie gonna be loyal to him. Uh, does she not? I mean, did he not remember when he turned into Malcolm X and went into the jail and act like a lawyer to talk to Effie? She played him and went out and got with Tariq and then backstabbed everybody and told Noma about the Anya plan. See, this is why you can't get caught up in this nonsense, man. They told us we were just kids and we like as kids, we didn't understand. Never trust a big button to smile. That girl is poison. We didn't understand. We were like a big button to smile. That's what we want. You know what I'm saying? Hey, little mama. You know what I'm saying? We, we, when we were younger, we didn't know what they meant. What, what don't trust a big button to smile really meant. I was like, man, I thought we want the girls with the big booty. Hoo-hoo, <laughs> big booty. With the, with the, you know what I'm saying, with the nice smile. You don't want the crooked smile like TLC said. You can fix your hair if you're wrong, bro. You can fix your nose if you say so. All that glitter, that ding, 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 ding. You like, 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 yeah, yeah. You know, we we looking at TLC like, okay, cool. But I thought we wanted the big button to smile. Now, Kane then got caught up with the big button to smile. If he got a little thing poking back there, we shouldn't be looking, but that thing be poking sometimes. And Kane still thinks that Effie is on his side. So he's like, yeah, you're going to go with Effie. Y'all going to break this house. We're going to get this money. We're going to get these files. We're going to do do no one's gonna be like oh kane i love you so much kane i can't believe you did this for me let's be together fuck davis kane don't know what the hell's going on so well we got to go on over there for that heist now where they at they get there and kane tells them straight up like hey man listen it's simple. You go in there, get the computer, distract her, and then y'all can get the fuck out of there. Brayden's like, man, I don't know, man. Is anybody in there? It's like, nah, man. The kid and the wife, that's it. It just, should just be the wife. <laughs> so they're like, all right, go ahead and go in there. Now, we already know what happened. This is Kane's perspective. We know what's going on in that house. They get in there. Effie goes in the back. Well, it doesn't go according to plan. Because uh, the lady is starting to catch on. So Effie's in the back. Brayden is up front grabbing a knife. And I was like, oh, shit. We about to get some action. Action. Kane knocks at the door. NYPD. Who? NYPD. I'm hearing that there was a phone call. There was a report of a robbery in the area. A Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> she said, on my way. So she goes up there, and I'm thinking as soon as she opens the door, Kane going, on the ground. Hello, Officer Ramirez, <laughs> NYPD. There's actually been a lot of robberies in your neighborhood. Just checking in. There was a phone call here. <laughs> she said, damn, you were quick. Oh, yeah, you know, we're in the area. As I mentioned earlier, there's been a lot of robberies around here. Just want to make sure everyone is all right. <laughs> okay. Excuse me, ma'am. Are you the one that made the phone call? Effie comes up front after she gets the damn file transferred. Yes, sir. It was me. I filed the police report. It was me. It was I. <laughs> okay. Could you come on outside so I could talk to you? Uh, White Mel, could you come with me also? Are you okay back there? Do I need to call in a bus? Oh, no. Everything is all right, officer. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> make sure you keep your doors locked and uh, make sure you lock the vehicles up also. Uh, your windows, you should probably go around and just double check that all of them are locked and be sure, be sure to turn the alarm on. <laughs> so Officer Ramirez, Effie, and the white Caucasian male, they leave about the house. <laughs> they leave about the house. So the plan worked. The plan worked. We got the files. Miss Maggie was like, okay, thanks. She didn't think twice to say, hey, my officer, I mean, my my husband is an officer, Officer Ramirez. Do you know, you know what I'm saying, Nico? Oh, Nico? <laughs> yeah, I know Nico. He's a very hell of a hell of an officer. Well, he's a detective now. You know, one day I wish I could get there. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, like I said, be sure to lock your doors. And if you need anything, don't forget, my number is 911. <laughs> There was no police car. Nigga ain't got no hat on. He ain't got no gun. This, I think this nigga just walked up here in regular jeans. And the nigga ain't had like no police pants on. This nigga had on an Amiri shirt on up under it. This nigga had 
I like, come on, Kane, where you get this Ramirez jacket from? <laughs> Caucasian male, please come with me. <laughs> Yeah, he called uh he called Braden a Caucasian male. Hey, Caucasian male, come with me. Braden got this damn patch on his head. I'm like, man, this what the fuck they got going on, man? What the hell they got going on? This was a funny scene, though. This was a funny scene. You know, Kane never misses an opportunity to go in on Braden. <laughs> Johnson, I'll kill him with the goofy move. <laughs> <laughs> A Caucasian male come with me. <laughs> Were you the one that reported the robbery? <laughs> Braden is in there nervous as hell, man. Braden didn't want to have to stab this lady, but Braden picked up a fucking butcher knife, man. Look, look what Braden, Braden went and got a butcher knife, man. Kane said, Braden, if it goes wrong, just make it look like a robbery. This nigga Braden powered up. And he said, I'm a killer. Hey, Braden, we are not trying to, we just gonna make it look like a robbery. Why did Braden try to take this to the extreme? This nigga grabbed a knife. Like he didn't want to like grab her and like throw her into a room, lock the door, like lock her in the bathroom. Braden went and got a knife when Kane said, just make it look like a robbery. What was Braden thinking? Like, what would make you? Well, I mean, I understand. I probably went for the knife, too. But Braden went and got a fucking butcher knife. Like, man, fuck this shit. <laughs> we stabbing our way out of here. Like, Braden, we just going to make this look like a robbery, bro. And, and Kane had the damn Ramirez jacket three seasons. It's been three seasons since Ramirez has been dead. He just got this jacket just sitting in the vehicle. Like when I was watching, I'm like, wait, so he he kept this. They got the World Trade Center uh badge on here too. So badge two 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 nine. <laughs> Fingerprints on the knife, fingerprints on the computer, finger, uh, fingerprints on the sink, fingerprints on the table in the kitchen, fingerprints everywhere. Did y'all peep? Uh, let me see. Did y'all peep Effie sticking her head around the uh, the wall? I think I got a picture of it. Did y'all peep this? Did y'all see Effie stick her head in the doorway? <laughs> what up, Rick James? When Effie left, she stuck her head in the door. I was like, man, let me get that screenshot, man. Look at Effie. Fucking Braden, they went and got a damn knife. Yeah, Braden had to be on that shit because they just left the dorm. So it was like they did. They they talked about this plan and they put that plan in motion like right after. Look, Braden got his hands all on here. Effie got her hands on the wall. Well, they end up getting the fouls and they go back to the crib. And this is where we find out about everyone that's working. Kane and Effie, they go back to the room. Effie extracts everything, and she find we find out that the Russians didn't have anything to do with it. But we see Felicia Lewis. I was calling her Felicia Jones. Felicia Lewis is on the task force. With complaints going back to 2014. 12-15, wait. So, Felicia was around when Ghost was thugging it. 2014 is when the series started. I wonder if Felicia may have whooped on James and Tommy one time. And how old is Felicia? I thought Felicia's maybe like early 30s. But well, that would put her at like 20. So I guess that'll still work. Hmm. Felicia was harassing niggas back then. 
But we find out Felicia is on the task force. So now this is more, you know, saying more evidence for Kane to give to Noma to show that, hey, man, I'm doing my job. And it wasn't actually the Russians. But. Well, he doesn't know it's not the Russians at this point. He just knows that uh, Felicia is on here. And that's why he calls Monet like man, I know you're not tied in with goddamn Don Carter. But before we get there, Effie's like, all right, look, Kane, we figured this out. How about I stay around? Oh, see, she got six complaints total. All right. So she has six complaints starting in 2014 up until now. Drug Enforcement Task Force. So Effie's like, hey, Kane, do you want me to stay over here? You know, I ain't never had nobody show me all the things that you showed me when you said you was you loving you. And now I'm a baby and I ain't never had nobody do me like you. So Effie over here getting her Sierra on. Kane over here acting like Bow Wow. He's like, yeah, yeah, you can stay here, girl. You know what I mean? I do like you. And uh, I just got to go tell Noma this stuff. I just got to go tell Noma about what's been going on. We got to let her know what's going on in these streets. <laughs> Kane upgraded Effie. <laughs> Effie ain't want to go back to them dorms, man. Braden on that booger sugar, man. You don't want to be around Braden when Braden on that shit. You definitely don't want to be in the dorms. So she's like, I'll stay over here. Kane is like, all right, let me go talk to Noma first, though. He calls up my man. I hope you ain't tied with Don Carter because Felicia's on that task force. Kane goes over there, shows her the files. And basically, he's like, listen, man, all that bullshit we'd have been going through, man. Let me just be real with you. Hey, Rick James, thank you for that $10, my brother. Uh, thank you for that 10. Thank you for that 10. You know, I'm gonna do something with that 10 tomorrow. Well, no. Nah. What I I think I gotta buy one more microphone. I got that mic to work. You know what I'm saying? I just gotta use my other uh streaming service. So we're going to start having some Saturday lives, you know what I'm saying? Once my people leave, I start having my homeboys come over. Also got some stuff going. Oh, we'll talk about it after we get off the clock. So Kane shows up to Noma. He's like, here's the files, man, the task force. But I don't think the Russians had nothing to do with it. Effie figured it out. She's like, oh, you always fucking with Effie, huh? He's like, listen, put Effie behind us. Let's just be on straight business. Now. This is the kind of relationship we want. Just strictly business. You know what I mean? Just business. You know, the reason we're going to call this a business relationship, because you got business casual. You know what I mean? So that means we can casually handle some business on our own. But yeah, strictly business. You know what I'm saying? We mess around every now and then, but you can continue to do what you do with your boy toy. But if you marry me, this will get you your citizenship. This way, you don't have to have Davis being in charge of that 51%, and you can still control your whole entity. You just don't tear down anything I have because Kane is thinking of it like this. If I make her a citizen, she can keep doing what she's doing to get her contracts. I have the connections in these streets. I can do that. You can go and do your legitimate stuff. So instead of Kane thinking about the future and becoming legitimized, He's like, nigga, let me stay in the dope game and reap all the benefits. You go legit, and we we knock some boots every now and then. But you do you, you, and I do me. And then she falls for it. She gives my man a kiss. <laughs> we in there. We in there. Get in there. Yeah, yeah. Get in there. Yeah, yeah. How many how many robes does Noma got though? But that's Kane's story right there, though. That's Kane's story. Hit that like button. Yeah, how 
how did Kane upgrade her? Because remember, like Kendall said, well, Monet, Monet gave the penthouse to Drew and Kane. Drew moved out. Kane stayed. Effie wasn't moving in. Effie was just staying the night. So if 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 upgrading a chick is just letting her spend the night, then uh if upgrading a woman is just letting her spend the night, then uh I need my upgrade points. I need to go back, go back in the log and look up on King. Okay, there go one upgrade point, two, three, four, five, six. Can we count the, if they spend the night twice? Can we count them more than once? Okay, that would be 19 for that one. Okay. Well, that one wasn't really a spend the night. That one came over after midnight, but left before sun up. So that, that, that is not really an upgrade. It's like a it's like a partial. We'll give it a point five, baby. Uh, okay, upgrade. Okay. My calculations, 16, 17. If we count multiple times. Today's Friday, so it'll be 16. Divide that by, because it was a leap year. So on a leap year, I really can't count that extra day because it only caps every four years. Okay, so 17, 19. Uh, what happened during the pandemic? The pandemic, I was really behind, so I got to deduct some points from there. Okay. Yeah, my upgrade points in the last, let's just say since the pandemic, the last five years, my upgrade points is only on like seven points, man. Shit. I need to get back out there upgrading. <laughs> I need to get back there upgrading. 